Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in July. <laughs> Um, I downloaded quite a few books in July. <laughs> Again, I've been putting off this video because there's so many books to talk about today. So I better get started, so let's go. The first book that I have to talk about today is Damaged Goods, A Small Town Romance by Telly Hibbert. This is number 1.5 in the Ravenswood series, and this is still currently free to download. Laura Burns' husband is a monster. Her diamond ring is a trap, and her pregnancy is the push she needs to finally escape. She runs away seeking safety and finds Samir Bianchi, her long lost teenage sweetheart. With his kind eyes and dirty smile, Samir's hot as hell and he still treats Laura like a goddess, baby bump and all. The wild boy she spent one magical summer with is every inch a man and he's more than ready to care for her tiny family. But Laura's keeping a secret from Samir that he might never forgive. When she finally confesses, will he remain by her side or is this fairy tale ending too good to be true? Next I have When Ash Rains Down by Cecilia Earle. This is available on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. Julia's hardcore. She has no time for childhood nonsense like fairy tales and romance literally. She's too busy getting straight A's and working two jobs to get her family out of the mess her dad left them in. Despite the stupid necklace he gave her before he bolted, the one that supposedly contained protective powers and songs of angels, she knows the truth. He never cared about her mom, brother, or her, and angels and heaven are a farce. Besides her family, she only lets her best friend Mitch get close to her, and even he knows how quickly she can put up walls. She won't even take a second, okay, maybe third glance at the handsomely irritating guy at school who's been lurking around. No matter how much she's tried to protect anyone, the life she's so painstakingly been rebuilding is about to come crumbling down, and that necklace might just have some benefit after all. Will Julia and her family survive an explosion, a demon invasion, or even a beautiful stranger that wants to join some demon hunting mission? There's no question about it. Money and good grades aren't going to solve all her problems anymore. It turns out there may have been something more behind her dad's disappearance. It looks like Julia's demon hunting days are about to begin. Next, I downloaded Beauty and the Beast by K.M. Shea, the first book in the Timeless Fairy Tales series, and I downloaded this off of Kindle Unlimited. Once upon a time, Elle made a mistake. A small miscalculation sends her through the roof of an enchanted chateau. Stranded until her broken leg mends, Elle is unwillingly forced to rely on the goodwill of the sour chateau owner, the cursed Prince Severin. Prince Severin, the commanding general and staunch supporter of his brother, the crown prince, is cursed to look like a beast until a maiden falls in love with him. He has given up all hope of shattering the curse and only disdain for El. Unfortunately, the pair can't seem to avoid each other thanks to the meddling of the chateau's cursed servants. Eventually, Elle's playful manner and Severin's hidden gentleness draw the pair together. But not all love stories can end that easily. After all, Elle is not what she seems, and Severin's life is placed in danger when hostilities flare between his brother and the monarchs of a neighboring country. When Elle risks everything to save Severin, will he be able to forgive her for her lies? Next, I downloaded Lonin's War by Jeff Kennedy, the first book in the Sorcerer's Moon series off of Kindle Unlimited. Alone in her tower, Princess Aurea has spent too long studying her people's barbarians enemies this tree and neglected the search for calm that will control her magic and release her to society her restlessness makes meditation hopeless and her fragility renders human compassion human companionship unbearable Aurea is near giving up then the Distri attack, and her people's lives depend on her handling of the prince. When the corner Distri decide to strike back, Lonan never thought he'd live through the battle, let alone demand justice as a conqueror, and yet he must keep his guard against the sorceress who speaks for the city. Aurea's people are devious, her claims of ignorance absurd. The frank honesty her eyes promised could be just one more layer of deception. Fighting for time and trust, Ori and Lonan have one final sacrifice to choose before an even greater threat consumes them all. Next, I downloaded a boxed set. This is the Lost Breed MC box set books one through three by Allie Parker and Weston Parker. This is still currently free to download. I'll just read the summary for the first book in the series. Writer, I'm not a good man, not worthy of redemption. As president of the Lost Breed MC, I fight and take what's mine, but everything's changed in a blink of an eye, and now I got a kid, my brother's kid. 
The teenage bastard is just like me, and he's gone missing. My only hope is that the hot woman that's been assigned as my nephew's parole officer is willing to help out a criminal like me. She's got something to prove to the world after losing her sister, and I plan on taking full advantage of her willingness. She's innocent, good-hearted, and sexy, the kind of girl I like to break in the bedroom. I'm driven mad with a desire to gain her affection, to be the one that wakes her up in the dead of night to take advantage of her softness and remind her who's king. Next, I download Immortal Flame by Heather Walker. This is a Scottish Highlander time travel romance. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. When Ray Hamilton is flung back in time to the medieval Scottish Highlands, she becomes a pawn in an ancient battle between the immortals of Clan Lewis and the mortals of Clan Gunn. Alone in a strange time and place, Ray doesn't know which side to trust. Niall Lewis, immortal chief of Clan Lewis, can't help but be intrigued by the bonnie lass brought before him. Not only is Ray strong and brave in the fight, but she has the intellect to create the Cypher's Kiss elixir that will hand his people victory in the war against the guns. Can he win Ray's love and convince her to side with the immortals? Or will she spurn at Niall's advances and help her fellow humans destroy the remaining immortals once after all? Next, I downloaded Feral by Tegan Cade. This is the first book in The Boys of Hells, and this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. You can't tame a beast that's truly wild. She's my best friend's sister, but I don't see off limits, I see a challenge. Little Ava's come home with curves in all the right places and a sassy mouth to match. She's forbidden forest fruit ripe for the ravaging. I should stay away. I know that. I'd be betraying my best friend's trust if I did anything else. Her family always had the perfect house, the perfect lives. Hell, they were the descendants of the guy who founded the damn town for Frick's sake. Me? I was just some latchkey kid with a dead dad and anger problems who hung around her brother, getting him into trouble. I had no place hanging around her back then, and I sure as hell don't have any business doing so now. But what felt like craving before, a desire to taste, has suddenly turned into starvation. There's no use avoiding or denying it. I want her, and I'll have her, but I'm going to take her body before I take her heart. Next, I downloaded More by Rachel De Loon, the first book in the Evermore series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $2.99. I'm invisible to my husband, miserable and dejected in the marriage that once meant everything to me, until I met him. A stranger in a bar promising an opportunity of more. Sebastian York ignites a fire within me that's addictive, a buried passion that touches my heart and satisfies my deepest desires. But the sacrifices that come with my decision torture my soul and taint the love I want to put my faith in. Can I trust the man that seems too good to be true? The relationship I've always longed for is in front of me if I dare to take it. But life is never that simple, and if I lose, I lose everything. Next, I downloaded Knight's Redemption by Shirley Gray, the first book in the Knights of Hell series. This is still currently free to download. With one fatal mistake, immortal demon Hunter Lazarus started a chain reaction that sent him and five brothers on a collision course straight to hell. There's only one way to save them all. Claim his mate, a sweet beauty he doesn't deserve and will only end up hurting. But immortals fall hard, and walking away from her when it's over is going to be near impossible. When bookstore owner Eve Taylor starts hearing the thoughts of others, she is certain she's losing her mind until the day a wickedly seductive and dangerous warrior appears and introduces her to a terrifying new world, one she has been a part of her whole life and never knew. Now with the traitor consumed by darkness and driven by revenge hunting him, they have one chance at survival, but they must give in to the scorching desire that if they let it could destroy them both. Next, I downloaded Written with Regret by Ali Martinez. This you could download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. Every little girl dreams of the fairy tale, the one where the white knight rushes in to save her from the clutches of evil. They fall in love, have babies, and live happily ever after. By that definition, my life should have been a fairy tale too. When I was eight years old, Cave and Hunt saved me from the worst kind of evil to walk the earth. It didn't matter that I was a kid. I fell in love with him all the same, but that was where my fairy tale ended. Years later, a one night stand during the darkest time imaginable gave us a little girl. It was nothing compared to the pitch black that consumed me when I was forced to leave her with Cave and for good. At the end of every fairy tale, the happily ever after is the one thing that remains consistent. It wasn't going to be mine but there hadn't been a night that passed where I hadn't prayed that it would be hers. I owed Cave in my life. However, I owed that innocent child more, and that included ripping the heart from my chest and facing her father again. Next, I downloaded Cross My Heart, a billionaire single dad slash second 
Chance Romance, the first book in the Broken Hearts series by Avery Maxwell. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. The moment I meet the incredibly sexy Dexter Cross, I know I'm in trouble. His intensity is electric and I express a sass I thought was long extinguished. It's a shock to my system and seems to put Dexter on edge, which I like. Teasing him appears to be my new favorite pastime. Accepting the nanny position for Dexter's three children will be my fresh start in life, but the closer I get to Dexter and his children, the harder I know it will be to leave. I'm only meant to stay for a year, but all too quickly, Dexter becomes determined to break down my walls. He thinks I can choose them and stay, but I know better. Dexter doesn't understand my kind of damage. My scars run deep and so does Dexter's determination. He has his eyes and his heart set on me. Even our friends are joining in on this battle, a crazy bunch of misfits who cause chaos at every turn. It's me against them. I'm just not sure who will break first. Next, I downloaded The Marriage Effect, A Marriage of Convenience Sports Romance by Carlos Sorensen, the third book in the Washington Wolves series. You could download this off of Kindle Unlimited or it's available for $3.99 to purchase. Being a football player and legal guardian to his four younger sisters means his playbook is full. However, one of them just landed in the hospital, which gives his brother the shot he needs to challenge Logan for custody. Legal counsel says there's only one thing Logan can do, find himself a wife. Paige McKinney doesn't always think things through, like walking from her modeling career without a thought of what might happen next. She really doesn't think it through when she proclaims herself Logan's fiance at the hospital simply because the sexy, albeit grumpy, football player forgot his cell phone at a party and security won't let her pass. It's not her fault it was overheard by the worst possible person. A bargain is struck and a fake marriage is the perfect solution, but the simple solution creates a whole new problem. They're not as different as they seem. The reluctant groom has fire inside of him, and his impetus bride is about to light the match. Next, I downloaded Her Dominant Neighbor by K.R. Max. This is a book, a part of the Alphas and Innocents series, and you can purchase this book now for $2.99. Pure, innocent Brie Hayden has been away for three years, but she still burns for Tanner, the next door neighbor back at home. No one else has ever been good enough. Tanner Green sent her away once for her own protection. He won't let her get away again, but can he protect her from his own family? From the moment they see each other again, it's impossible to deny the chemistry raging between them. But with family like Bree's, she doesn't trust easily. He controls her body, her pleasure. Does she dare let him have her heart or will the secrets around her destroy them both? Next, I downloaded Tell Me To Stop by Charlotte Bird. This is still currently free to download. I owe him a debt, the kind money can't repay. He wants something else, me. For one year. I don't know who he thinks he is. 365 days and nights doing everything he wants. Except that. I'm not going to sleep with you, I say categorically. He laughs. I'm going to make you a promise. His eyes challenge me. Before our time is up, you'll beg me for it. Next, I downloaded Wreck Me by Lee May, an enemies to lovers romance. You could get this off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99. I was once a part of the elites. I lived in Beverly Hills, went to a posh private school, and hung with the rich kids. My life consisted of pools, parties, designer clothes, and selfies. I was spoiled, self-centered, and admittedly a royal bitch at times. You had to be if you wanted to hang out with my clique had everything until my father was charged with fraud and sent to prison. My friends disowned me and I became a pariah. Everything we owned was stripped away, gone. Now I'm forced to go to a new school, one with metal detectors and a crowd of bullies who hate outsiders. If that wasn't bad enough, I find myself attracted to a drop dead gorgeous hottie who can't decide if he's on my side or theirs. Life has really screwed me over, but I still have my pride and I'm not about to let these kids ruin me. If it's a fight they want, I'll give it to them. Hell, I have nothing left to lose. Next, I have Lie to Me by Lillian Monroe, the first book in the Clark Brothers series. This is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $4.99. Maddie is everything I ever wanted. She doesn't belong here, neither her nor the company she works for, and yet as soon as I see her, I need her. I should run her out of town, but I can't. Her soft, sweet curves call out to me. Her pink, kissable lips draw me in. Her eyes flick towards me, and I know she's mine. But when a secret threatens to drive us apart, I need to choose between my town, my life, my everything, or a chance at the one thing I never thought I'd have, love. Next, I downloaded Pride to Pack, the Mountie Roxby series, book number one by Amy Jennison. You could purchase this for 99 cents or get it off of Kindle Unlimited. Rosabelle McGinnis, orphaned werewolf, has finally decided to leave the Werelion Pride she's been living in for the last 18 years. She's been challenged 
to one duel too many. It's time to find a pack to call home. Theodore Wilson, alpha of the Mount Roxby pack, has never cared about finding his mate. He swore off women when his wife, a human who knew nothing about what he was, cheated on him. Now a new wolf has walked into town and stirred up feelings he never imagined he would feel. Mount Roxby has a plethora of supernatural beings, unbeknownst to the humans that live there. After a series of mysterious disappearances and fatal attacks on both the werewolves and vampires alike, Rosabelle decides something needs to be done. But can she persuade the pack alpha and vampire king to put old prejudices I can't ever say that word, prejudices behind them long enough to work together and solve these attacks? Or will one bite too many cause a war? Next, I downloaded Do You Want Me by W. Winters. This is still currently free to download. Some love stories are slow burn. Others are quick to ignite, scorching and branding your very soul before you've taken that first breath. You're never given a chance to run from it. That's how I'd describe what happened to us. Everything around me blurred and all that existed were his lips, his touch. The taste and the heat between us became addictive. Our nights together were a distraction, one we craved to the point of letting the world crumble around us. We should have paid more attention. We should have known that it would come to this. We both knew it couldn't last, but that didn't change what we most desired. All we wanted was each other. Next, I downloaded The Hate Vow by Nicole French, the first book in the Quick Silver series. You could download this off of Kindle Unlimited or purchase it for $3.99. Eric Deveris looks like millions, worth billions, but to keep his money, this wayward heir needs a wife. And all of the women in the world, he chooses me. Too bad I've hated him for five years since he took all my tears and tossed me away. The guy slept his way through half of New England and discarded women like hotel toiletries. Been there, done that. Still, what would you do for $20 million? Would you wear the dress, fake a smile for the man who broke your heart? Or would you run far, far away? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll see you at the church. Next, I downloaded Dragon's Rogue, the first book in the Wild Dragon series by Anastasia Wilde. This is on Kenta Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. Evil dragon warlord Vicros is about to rise from captivity in a devastating volcanic eruption. Only the Greystone brothers can stop him, and only if they find the three men prophesied to hold the keys to sealing Vicros's tomb forever. Blaze McKenna stole her coven's most powerful artifact to keep them from destroying themselves. She's been hiding ever since, preparing for the day when the coven leader will hunt her down and try to take it back, the battle that only one of them will walk away from. So when smoking hot dragon shifter Zane Greystone offers to help her fight the coven in return for handing over one of the seals of Vicros's tomb, it sounds like a perfect plan, except for two problems. She doesn't know where the seal is, and the dragon just doesn't want to help her. He wants her heart, body, and soul. Next, I downloaded The Engagement Gift, a After Dark Standalone Romance by Lauren Blakely. This is $2.99 to purchase, and it's also on Audible Escape. Some things are better left unsaid. Besides, I don't need to act on every wild thought that flits through my imagination. Not when my fiance and I have the kind of life I've always longed for, passionate, intimate, and oh so real. I can't risk losing him, so I focus on building our life together as a couple, expanding my career as a sports reporter, and prepping for our wedding. But the more insistent my thoughts become, the closer I get to telling him what I most want. The question though is what will happen to our unbreakable bond? when I do. Next, I downloaded His Miracle Baby, A Bad Boy Romance by B.B. Hamill. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. Elias Weaver is the kind of guy I should avoid. He's the mayor's son and his bad boy reputation makes me nervous. But I put all that aside just for one night and I make the best mistake of my life. He gets me pregnant. It's a one in a million chance, but of course it happens to me. I'm having his miracle baby, but I'm not sure that I'm ready to be a mother. We barely know each other. He's handsome, cocky, funny, and completely blew my mind in bed. But I'm drowning in debt and barely able to take care of myself. He wants to step up and be a father. More than that, he wants me. I decided to give my baby up for adoption, but he's starting to make me reconsider. Everything about him drives me wild. His touch, his stare, the way he laughs as his hands slide down my back. He's not letting go without a fight. He's going to remind me of why I gave myself to him that first night. If he keeps touching me, I might just give him everything he wants and more. Next, I downloaded Stirred, an enemies to lovers small town romance by Annie Dyer. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. The small town of Severton doesn't have many secrets. One of the few is exactly why Scott Maynard, bar owner and search and rescue hero, refuses to speak, acknowledge, or even breathe the same air as Karen Lee. Karen has been Severton's dentist for far too long and now she's ready to move to the city. Escaping the war 
war with Scott and broadening her dating circle in the hope of a future that doesn't consist of evenings at home alone with a book, ancient pajamas, and a glass of wine. All it takes is a one night ceasefire for all of her plans and their decade long feud to be stirred up. But they're not the only ones to be shaken. Severton has acquired its own arsonist and other secrets are being exposed, leaving a completely different battle to be fought. Next, I downloaded Command Me, the first book in the Royal Saga by Geneva Lee. This is still free to download. A man with the world at his feet and he stole a kiss from me. It should have ended there since I had no idea who he was, except that kiss was caught by someone's camera and now the picture is splashed on tabloids all over the world. I should have recognized him, Prince Alexander of Cambridge, royal bad boy, exiled heir to the throne. He's controlling, he's demanding, he's dangerous. He warns me to stay away, that the press and his family will destroy me. I should run, but I can't, because the last thing I expected was that I'd fall in love, especially since he never will. Next, I downloaded Red Rocket, a hockey love story by Rain Milner, or Miller, sorry. <laughs> um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $4.99. My reputation as an enforcer was earned one game at a time. Fighting on the ice for my team is something I take very seriously because I came to the USA to play hockey, not to be a celebrity. Unfortunately, this logic has my public image taking a beating. Not that I care very much about how others think of me, except for her, Scarlett. A woman as gorgeous and fiery and sexy as that long red hair of hers, which would look even more stunning spread out on my sheets with my hands tangled in it all night long. It is unfortunate that she also works for the team in public relations, so yeah. No fraternization policy is an issue, but hardly my main concern. The biggest hurdle is Scarlett thinking I am part of a gambling ring for the Russian mafia. Crazy, right? I could deal with setting her straight about her ridiculous suspicions, but crackling through that hard shell she has built around her heart, that is my real challenge. But oh, how I love a good fight. Winning is everything to me, especially when the prize is the Las Vegas beauty I named the Red Rocket. Next, I downloaded Tempted, Friends to Lovers Romance by Marie Carr, the first book in the Scoundrel series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. They never crossed the line until now. When she calls in a favor, asking her best friend Jack to perform in a fetish fantasy at the nightclub she manages, Emma inadvertently opens Pandora's box for both of them. Portraying a dominant pirate forces more than Jack's secret desires to light, and Emma finds herself enmeshed in sensual explorations that leave her questioning her vanilla existence. Temptation is one thing, submitting is another, especially when Jack insists the show's not over until he says it is. Next, I downloaded Curse of the Healer, a fairy tale romance by Angela J. Ford. This is off of Kindle Unlimited. Cursed magic, a handsome woodcutter, and an enchanted forest. Talia is a renowned healer until one fateful night, death instead of life flows from her fingers. Devastated by her bad luck, Talia drinks to evade her misery. When a handsome woodcutter offers to help her, Talia agrees to bargain with the queen of the wildwood. But bad luck follows Talia into the forest and her journey turns into a race to save the man she loves before death befalls them both. Next, I downloaded Pierce, the first book in the Dragon Heartbeats series by Ava Benton. This is still currently free to download. A group of dragons traveled from Scotland to the New World a millennium ago to guard a treasure that none could know of. Their homes and lives are hidden from the world of humans and supernatural beings. Until Pierce saves the life of a woman during an avalanche and now he puts the entire legacy on the line. Jasmine isn't just your average girl, she's a part of the Fae, and now some dragon gave her his blood to heal her. He didn't realize the dragon's blood is toxic to Fae. His dragon brethren don't care if she lives or dies. Actually, they just as soon as uncomplicate matters and see her dead. But that's not so easy for her or the dragon that saved her. Next, I downloaded For Pete's Sake, An Enemies to Lovers, Marriage of Convenience, the first book in Tobin Tribe and written by Caitlin Coxley. This is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $2.99. Ethan Webb, Philadelphia's most notorious and hated personal injury attorney, cares about exactly three things. His sister, his newborn nephew, Pete, and his law practice. Embattled CEO and newly widowed Stephanie Kerrigan also cares exactly about three things. Keeping control of the family business that her board of directors is hell-bent on taking away from her having a baby, and winning the lawsuit Ethan Webb has filed against her. What was Stephanie's crime? Being married to Pete's scumbag father. After spending less than an hour with her, what possible reason could Ethan have to suddenly ask Stephanie to marry him? And why in the world would she agree? That's easy. Extreme mutual need. It's only for a few weeks. 
There is no need to get complicated until it does. Next, I downloaded He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not by Iris Moreland. This is still currently free to download. I've always lived life by the rules. Unlike my two sisters, I'm the good one, the responsible one. Going outside my comfort zone is when I wear red lipstick before 5 p.m. That comfort zone of mine, it smashed to smithereens on a wild night in Las Vegas when I met and married Liam Gallagher. After one shot of tequila, then two, then too many to count, a good girl's rules tend to disappear. And so does her panties, her bra, and various other articles of clothing when she's with an Irishman who knows his way around a woman's body. Now my husband wants to stay married for six months. He said it'll be worth my while considering our chemistry underneath the sheets. I can't say that he's wrong. Liam isn't safe though. Liam definitely isn't comfortable. He's like the male equivalent of wearing red lipstick in the daytime, all wrapped around an irresistible, dangerous package. Yet, this stubborn Irishman is about to let me go. Drunken Princess Bride themed Vegas wedding or no. Now I have to decide if I'm brave enough to break the rules for love. Next, I downloaded Faded Bonds by Tessa Cole. This is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $2.99. Be a good angel, Amaya. Be patient, Amaya. Someone's out there who will awaken and complete your soul bond. It'll be beautiful. It'll be the worst possible thing that could happen. Because a soul bond is no fairy tale. It's a prison. Torture, I should wind up bonded to a complete stranger, or worse, driven insane over a lost soulmate. It's a ticking time bomb and I'll do anything to get rid of my partially formed soul bond. But before I could figure out how or even if that's possible, Titus, the last dragon shifter, falls out of the sky and my healing magic accidentally leashes us together. If we're separated, we both die. Now we, along with Cassius, my best friend, and top of JP agent, and Sebastian, a fake sorcerer who just won't stop hitting on me even though I know he doesn't really mean it, and being hunted by men who want to possess Titus's unique dragon power. And if they can't have him, they won't hesitate to kill him and take me along with him. Next, I downloaded Winter's Edge by Lindsay R. Lox Locusts. I'm so sorry I'm butchering that. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. Ika's song must have an important delivery through the cursed crimson forest for her injured father. If she doesn't, they won't survive the hard winter. She fails, but she's rescued by wolf shifters who somehow give her sight. There's beautiful, funny archer who can't quite hide his pain. Grady, who's sullen and loud, and Thomas, their alpha, who's mysteriously banished. Ika is desperate to get back home, but finds herself entangled in her father's secrets. He has enemies. So do the wolf shifters she feels a blooming fondness for, and all their enemies are encircled closer to their prey. With her wolf's help, Ika will have to stay one step ahead if she wants to survive Winter's Edge. Next, I downloaded His Wicked Games by Ember Casey. This is still currently free to download. Lily Fraser would do anything to save the Fraser Center for the Arts, even take on the infamous billionaire Calder Cunningham. When Lily breaks into the Cunningham estate, she only wants to find and reason with Calder. All right, all right. She wants to punch him in the face, too, but that's plan B. As it turns out, the arrogant billionaire is willing to give her the money he promised, but there's a catch. She must win it from him. And the games he has in mind aren't exactly innocent. Lily isn't about to give up the money without a fight or let some haughty bastard seduce her, but she quickly discovers that there might be more to the brooding Calder than what she initially perceived. What ensues is a competition hotter than Lily could have ever imagined, and romance deeper than she could ever have dreamed. But as their games of cat and mouse become increasingly intense, both are forced to face the deeper question. In games of lust and love, what is the price of victory? Next, I downloaded Faye King, an adult fairy tale romance by Joanna. Oh, I'm not even gonna try that last name. Oh, that's so long. This is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $2.99. When Martha, tired of working as a fairy of pleasure, uses illegal magic to bring two lovers together. She's caught by a fey inquisitor and dragged before the Seely court. She's sure to be stripped of her magic if she's convicted. Lucky for her, she's got some time before she goes to trial. She has 40 days to save herself from the court's judgment. Only true love can protect her from losing her magic forever, but the man she loved, the fey king, died years ago. So what's a fairy to do? Wave her wand and make a wish? That's far too dangerous, not to mention illegal, but all magic comes at a price. She just has to decide if it's one she's willing to pay. Next, I downloaded His Trust by Krista Wick. This is still currently free to download. He thinks I'm a corporate spy. Me, plump, boring Mia James. 
Yes, I admitted an advanced degree on my resume, but being overqualified to be able to pay my rent wasn't how I was going to start my newly single, okay, newly dumped life. Do I regret doing it, seeing as how I got junior secretary position in my field for the private military company run by billionaire badass CEO Colin Stark, no less. I'm going with a no. No regrets here, which is what I basically tell Mr. Stark when he starts questioning my motives. Did I mention he's an ex-army interrogator or that he's too intense to put into words. While it's obvious he doesn't trust me, it's probably a good thing because something tells me that if that hot-hearted man were to ever fully trust a woman, his intensity level over her would be off the charts. Next, I downloaded Legally Yours by Nicole French. This is still currently free to download. I had a plan, finish law school, start a job, stay away from men like Brandon Sterling, cocky, overbearing, and richer than the earth. He thinks the world belongs to him, and that includes me. Yeah, no, think again. That doesn't matter if his blue eyes look straight into my soul or that his touch melts my icy reserve. It doesn't even matter that under all that past swagger, there's a beautiful damaged man who has so much to offer beyond private planes and jewelry boxes. But I had a plan. No falling in love. I just have to convince myself. Next, I downloaded His Frozen Heart by Vania Railholt. I'm so sorry I'm butchering all these names. Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. Has given up on love until he meets her. Burned with a horrific accident, he never believed he could find a woman who would see past his scars. But she makes him face more than just his fears of a broken heart. Is he brave enough to do what it takes to keep her? Callie hides her secrets. She's afraid if Mitch discovers them, he won't want her. When their relationship is turned too hot to handle, she'll have to decide if it's time to fight fire with fire or if it's time to walk away before she gets burned. Next, I downloaded Unexpected Gifts by Elena Aitken. This is still currently free to download. For Andy Williams, Christmas represents everything she's supposed to have and doesn't. Running away to a remote mountain lodge seems like the perfect way to escape the season. And it would have been if it weren't for the snowstorm and a booking mix-up that finds her stranded. That is, until a rough, around the edges, green-eyed stranger offers a solution. There was no way in good conscience that Colin Hartford could leave the woman with nowhere to stay, especially on Christmas. So he knows all too well what it's like to be alone for the holidays. It isn't long before Colin's determination to enjoy the festivities he's missed for so long sweeps Andy into the season of joy that she's not sure she's ready for. If Andy can allow herself to open up just a little, she might finally have the chance to experience everything the holidays can really offer, including love. Next, I downloaded His for a Season by K.A. Lindy. This is still currently free to download. I'm not prepared to meet someone as sexy as Sam Rutherford on the first day of my new job. Then I found out we're sharing an office for the next year. I can't deny that I'm intrigued by his charming southern drawl and rugged good looks. Normally, I would have just jumped at the chance, but there's only one problem. He has no idea who I am, and I'm not just Lark, the cute girl at work. I'm a multi-billion dollar heiress, and I made a deal with my parents one year away from the city, and then I take over my family business. Despite everything, I want to risk it. I want to be his for a season. Next, I bought Neighborly by Christina Jackson for $1.99. Heaven has been in love with her boyfriend Calvin since the day that they met. The amateur boxer is perfect, kind, supportive, and loving. Has the body of a god and sex so good she's willing to follow him anywhere and everywhere. That's how she ends up in a new town, renting a half duplex and ready to start their lives together. Their new apartment is perfect. Big enough to lay down roots, a backyard studio for her to work on her art, and a neighbor who inspires her naughtiest fantasies. Tasha and Stefan have a great life. They go to work, they come home, Stefan cooks, and Tasha does the dishes. It's domestic bliss. And if there's something better than bliss, it's whatever Tasha feels for the first time she lays eyes on her new tenant next door, and the way Stefan's eyes glaze over in lust when she shares her fantasies. What are two taken women to do when the attraction is mutual? The wall between their bedrooms seems paper thin, and the men that they love only want them to be happy. Next, I downloaded Mountain Man by Shirley Gray. This is still currently free to download. Hank Smith saved my life, carrying me through a blizzard to his mountain cabin. He doesn't like strangers, and he doesn't like leaving his sanctuary. Now I'm trapped here with him until the snow melts. I see him looking at me. He tries to hide behind a gruff exterior, but I see the longing and the heat burning in his eyes. I know he wants me, and I can't resist him. I want to feel those big, rough hands all over my body. But once he's unleashed his raw, barely tread desire on me, will I be able to leave my mountain man behind, or will he make me his? Next, I downloaded Storm the Castle by Julie Vines, a Mary Scott, Mary the Scott novel. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for 
$3.99. A Highlander walks into a bar, my father's conference to be exact. The Scot is huge, overbearing, and his gaze sets me on fire. He wants to take me home to see his mighty tower. I am tempted, I really am. Except I just had a proposal from someone else. One that could give me everything I wanted, apart from love. But when did I ever have a need for that? I know what I want when I see it. And I'd move mountains for the last with a whip smart mind and killer legs. But I came here to reclaim a debt. The man who screwed me over put my castle on the line. My ancestral home where I raised three brothers. I cannot let that lie. If it means storming his party, then so be it. Next, I downloaded Club Shadowlands by Charisse Sinclair. This is still currently free to download. Her car disabled during a tropical storm, Jessica Randall discovers the isolated house where she's sheltering is a private bondage club. At first shocked, she soon becomes aroused watching the interactions between the doms and their subs. But she's a professional woman, an accountant, and surely isn't a submissive is she? Master Z hasn't been so attracted to a woman in years, but the little sub who has wandered into his club intrigues him. She's intelligent, reserved, conservative. After he discovers her interest in BDSM, he can't resist tying her up and unleashing the passion she's hidden within. So there you have it. Those are the very many, many, many books that I downloaded in the month of July. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye! Thank you.